Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take a look at the last of the three global first easy 8 units. Now today we're going to look at Great Ape Vegeta. Oh look, he transforms right away. Um, so here's the unfortunate part about these Great Ape units. I mean, this could be cool, I guess, uh, when you're like trying to take down like a Super Battle Road stage or something like that. Looks like Vegeta does give himself two heat in Great Ape form, which is good to make him super attack easier, but this is really not... I mean, I, it's like, it's fine, I guess. It, it's, I, I don't know. The, these, like, Great Ape forms, it, it's, it does give you a turn, right? Or, or two, depending upon how long they stay Great Ape, where you are immune to damage and you can do some damage back, right? So you can look at it as, like, a turn or two of free damage, um, I could certainly see how certain free-to-play players could definitely get, um, like a major sort of advantage or like, like saving grace to win with some of these great apes. But besides like the LR great apes that have like really crazy abilities, like the ones that have the LR, uh, Gohan effect where they get extra key per orb, or maybe they're, they have a 50% chance to crit like LR Janemba. Um, or maybe they're super effective against all types. You know, like like those types of like Great Ape or Rage characters definitely can work better, but those are not exactly what I would consider common, right? Um, they're more so like Great Ape characters like this Vegeta where it's not really a big deal. Um, so Vegeta's Link set, man. 129k defense right there. Um, he gets 30% defense from his super attack effect. Uh, and then he also gets 80% defense uh, from Super. So, I mean, he's probably going to be around 200k defense with a lot of these links active. You know, his links at Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, Big Bad Bosses, over 9,000, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Shattering the Limit. Yeah, I, uh, he's not looking really too crazy. I, I mean, I'm not the best at calculating what his defense would be here but i mean it it would be around 200k ish i think between the 80 percent defense on super and then the 30 percent defense um from his super attack effect uh i mean i guess that was the rotation without support right obviously cooler str cooler he's only supporting a unit um uh in transformation boost when there's one enemy but when there's multiple enemies, that's when Cooler will support uh, Terrifying Conquerors, right? Uh, which Vegeta is a part of Terrifying Conquerors, but Vegeta's not on Transformation Boost. Yeah, I mean, this is he's not looking really too impressive, honestly. 3 million attacks that 200k defense. I mean, it's like, they're good, but like, keep in mind that these three units, Raditz, Goku, and Vegeta, like... They're not sub easy A's. They have their own easy A, right? Like, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla is much better. And she's the exact same type of. She's just a banner unit like them, right? And she's even a, a grade lower in that she's a sub easy A. But, like, I think the Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, she's shitting on these guys, right? Um, all right, so this would be a good rotation. Everything except for Transform and Saiyan Roar. Um, the Dokkan Butoed and Vegeta is, is not bad right? Like that guy at the start right there. So it's not even like I would say like I wouldn't run him or anything. This would be a little bit of a better rotation if the Vegeta does not finish off the Goku there. Um, th this would be a good turn because we'd be able to see him with Big Bad Bosses support. 3.84. Again, defense north of 200k. It's like he's a, he's going to be a, a, like a unit you can run, uh, basically is what I would say, right? Like Raditz and Vegeta are not going to be, like, staples on any team's main units or anything like that. Um, and it's, like, the reason I pointed out that these guys, like, are of the same class of Super Saiyan 2 Kefla or even lower is because Kefla is, like, going to be a staple on teams. That physical Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, I think, is very good, right? Whereas, like, these, like, you know what would have been, I think, more impactful is if Super Saiyan 2 Kefla was the global first EZA. That would have been better because she's strong, like really strong. She does have the defensive stacking, which the physical Kid Goku has. Again, he's of the three. The Kid Goku is the one who is relevant to me um, because that Kid Goku, 
right? You know, being able to run him uh, in these long events and he'll be stacking. And that'll help you out a lot against, say, you know, uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta at the end of the Legendary Vegeta event. That's cool. But a lot of these, the, the Grid Ip Raditz, Grid Ip, uh, Vegeta, they don't really seem too impressive to me. Now, honestly, too, I would say that Great Ape Vegeta, it, it's not the biggest deal ever that this guy um, is not, like, really that good, right? It doesn't really matter. Um, the reason I say that is because uh, Great Ape Vegeta, to, of the three, seems like the most, like, likely, the mo most of a shoe in right, to be an actual, like, Dokkan Festival exclusive or even a summonable LR sooner rather than later. I mean, hell, look, Legends. Dragon Ball Legends just dropped a legendary finish character, and it was Vegeta, right? Like, Grade 8 Vegeta. Um, and I, I could definitely see Dokkan following suit and releasing one sooner rather than later, especially because we know version Z is coming. They said, I think, towards, you know, the end of the year, the winner. And we know that there is a Saiyan Saga tutorial, Goku, Piccolo, and Raditz, so... You know, it would not be surprising if version Z drops with potentially a Saiyan Saga update. Just a shade under 4 million right there. Again, he... I mean, Vegeta... If we take damage, right? If we fall below 80% HP, um, which we're not right here, uh, Vegeta would get an extra 80% attack. Um, it looks like it's just start of turn attack, right? So he gets, he raises attack and defense for one turn on super attack effect. That's a 30% buff. 80% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then 80% attack and defense on super attack. And then he gets 80% attack when HP is 80% or less, right? Um, with that final buff, I mean, I'm not going to be shocked when this guy is cracking 5 million attack stats. That's good, right? Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to be liking that. But I do feel like it's going to be pretty situational. I don't know. I mean, you bring him into giant form, extreme, super battle world, guess what? Your health is going to be below 80%, right? Like, that's that's going to happen. Um, I mean, Great Ape Vegeta is... Dude, he's on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 category teams, right? Giant form, pure Saiyan, Dragon Ball Seeker, Vegeta Family, Terrifying Conquerors, Final Trump Card, Inhuman Deeds... Giant Ape Power, Space Traveling Warriors, Gifted Warriors, and Planetary Destruction. That's a lot. And there's a lot of teams, like, that could use a character like this, right? Like, that's another one of the big things here, is that, like, you know, Vegeta is a buff to teams that will need the help. Okay, so this turn, remember, this turn, we're not going to see Vegeta's extra power right here, right? Because it's going to be a start of turn buff when Vegeta will get that extra 80% that will activate. So that's not going to be happening right here, right? Um, but potentially, you know, next turn uh, we'll be able to see. So there he jumps up to 3.29. I mean, 3.29 without support. Again, I, I like to me that feel like I always say like 2 million is average, but it is starting to get to the point where it's like my eyes don't even begin to like flutter at a unit's performance if it's like it, it, damage wise, right? Uh, if it's like not like four million or above at least, but even like four million turn one, dude, eh, that, that does not that does not make me wet. I will tell you all this right now, right? Like if you're doing four million, I mean Vegeta's just a banner unit though, like a, a, a banner unit EZA. <sighs> Although I, it's I want to make excuses for this unit so bad, right? Um, but like. The three of them are a main EZA. If this was a sub EZA, I'd get it. Because a lot of the sub EZAs really aren't that crazy. Like, Tech Pycon is runnable, right? He's solid. Um, Physical Sin Shenron, we all meme his ass very heavily. But, like, he's runnable. You can run Physical Sin Shenron on the GT boss's team. He's just not the most impressive ever. Um, this Vegeta is definitely runnable, right? He's not bad. He just could be better. Okay, that's a better turn. What's that? 157k defense right there. Right? 80% on super and then 30% on his super attack effect. Uh, like, like he's looking good here. And, I mean, I, don't be shocked when this is over a 5 million right here. This is probably going to be the best turn we're going to see uh, from Great Ape Vegeta here in this video. Let's see what he gets up to. Yeah, 5.24. This is a good turn. Right? Maybe 225k, 230k, 240k defense, something like that after he supers. With a 5 million attack set, I'll definitely take that. Like, that's, that's a good turn. I, maybe this is me being greedy. I don't know. But, like, I, I would have been totally okay if, like, he was just... That last 80% attack, 
I kind of wish he had that at the start of turn, right? So I wish he was maybe something like 160% attack at the start of turn, 80% defense at the start of turn, then 80% attack and defense on super attack. Boom. That's it. That's what I would have liked. Now, I know, again, if you're like a free-to-play player and your best character is like, you know, rainbow LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku from the 4-year anniversary or something like that, like, you know, I know that some of these summers can look impressive, but... Link level 10 rainbow units that come out now, like, it, they can't be putting up 2018 numbers, right? Like, these difficult events are, they're, they're sca they scale fast, dude. So, it's like, I would like these units to be relevant uh, for more than, like, five seconds, you know? So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of Grade 8 Vegeta. Um, he definitely seems like he's going to have value, right? Like, he's not a throwaway, but he's just not, like, anything super impressive, right? And it's a shame, because the Super Saiyan 2 Physical Kefla, I would say, is super impressive. But I don't really think that any of the three Great Apes are. Great Ape Goku is runnable. Uh, Vegeta is kind of okay. So is Raditz. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.